Hello everyone today we'll discuss the study of effect of drug on rabbit eye by professor Sabashik So the aim of the experiment is to study the effect of drug on rabbit eye Principle so basically eye is supplied by both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve the superior palpebral palpebral muscle and radial fiber of the iris is supplied by sympathetic nerve whereas the circular fiber of the iris is supplied by the parasympathetic nerve the ciliary muscle is also supplied by parasympathetic nerve and when it contract the ciliary body is move inward and forward and because of this the lens bulges forward and the eye is accommodated for near vision so in a simple term when there is a contraction of the or when the ciliary muscle of the eye contracts it will lead to the near vision the opposite effect is produced by the relaxation of ciliary muscle resulting in the paralysis of accommodation when the pupil dilate the iris fold back near the opening of the canal of slim and the drainage of aqueous humor is decreased and thereby increase in intraocular pressure so in simple term the when there is a when the pupil dilate there is a increase in intraocular pressure whereas constriction of pupil by opposite action will increase the drainage and reduce the intraocular pressure So in this particular experiment we are going to study three different drugs. So first one is the physostigmine. So physostigmine is a reversible cholinesterase inhibitor. So due to which so what happens as the physostigmine is a reversible cholinesterase inhibitor so cholinesterase is a enzyme which is responsible for the breakdown of acetylcholine so as our drug is a cholinesterase inhibitor so it will not break down the acetylcholine which increases the endogenous acetylcholine and stimulate the circular muscle of the iris and because of which it produces the pupillary constriction without producing loss of light reflex and corneal reflex whereas our second drug that is ephedrine and phenylepinephrine it will stimulate the radial muscle of the iris to produce palpi, uh, pupillary dilatation and without any effect on the light reflex whereas the drug atropine which, which is nothing but the anti muscarinic agent or we can say the anti cholinergic drug so it will block the effect of endogenous acetylcholine on the circular muscle of the iris and muscle of the ciliary bed and because of which it produces the midriasis or nothing but the dilatation and spasm of accommodation leading to cycloplegia but without the loss of corneal reflex so now we'll see the requirement so we required here is rabbit 2 to 5 kg drug we required here is atropine physostigmine ephedrine and the equipment we use here is the rabbit holder and torch and we required a permission from a institutional animal ethics committee to perform the experiment on rabbit eye so procedure place the rabbit in the rabbit box keeping the head outside so you can see here in the picture ki here we have placed the rabbit in the rabbit holder in such a way the head, the head of the rabbit should be outside observe the pupil size in both the eyes examine the effect of light reflect reflex by torch by holding the torch in front of the eye moving the light beam into and for examine the corneal reflex by touching a side of the cornea with a cotton swab of the tip and then what we'll do we'll instill a few drop of atropine solution in the conjunctiva 4 to 6 time over a period of 8 to 10 minutes in the right eye of the rabbit whereas the left eye of the rabbit would serve as a control and in the left eye will instilled a normal saline solution record the pupillary size light reflex and corneal reflex after 10 minute of drug installation and write down the observation repeat the experiment with the physostigmine and ephedrine so now we'll see the observation so we have taken the three different drug physostigmine ephedrine and atropine and saline we use here as a control 
so in case of the saline the pupil size is normal light reflex and corneal reflex both are present in case of physostigmine physostigmine is a cholinergic drug which causes the constriction of the pupil and light reflex and corneal reflex are present whereas ephedrine and atropine both are anticholinergic drug it will cause the dilatation of the pupil but in case of the atropine the light reflex is absent whereas in case of ephedrine light reflex and corneal reflex both are present in case of atropine the light reflex is absent and corneal reflex is present so this is nothing but the effect of drug on rabbit eye so this is all about the experiment thank you